Since the start of this pandemic, we have been talking about the need to protect our health care workers with proper PPE, personal protective equipment. Now, with coronavirus cases surging across the country, ABC's Will Carr takes a closer look at one group's fight to protect our health care heroes on the front lines. For those working on the front lines, COVID-19 comes with an inherent professional danger. It, it can be scary, so it's a scary moment every day. Dolly Tapia um, is a nurse at a Sabin Community Clinic in Los Angeles. Um, we never know who's going to walk in through our doors, whether someone's infected or not, whether we're going to be exposed today or not. At the beginning of the pandemic, doctors and nurses experienced a massive shortage of PPE, including those critical N95 masks. At a federal hearing in July, female leaders laid out the challenges. In responding to COVID-19 and other national disasters in 2020, FEMA has met the more difficult task of managing finite medical supplies and equipment. Rather than managing resources, we are managing shortages. ABC News has highlighted how at times hospitals and clinics were running out of their best line of defense. I think the big thing that we need on the front lines right now is personal protective gear for uh, my colleagues and myself. The PPE shortage has touched every corner of the country as hospital administrations have been forced to stockpile resources from California. What do we want? PPE. To New York City, the original epicenter in the United States. We are demanding that we get all the hoarded supplies that exist of PPE so that we can protect ourselves, our families. To help, Direct Relief, a nonprofit based in Santa Barbara, California, is one of the organizations that has been shipping PPE, including those precious N95 masks, free of charge to more than 12,000 health clinics all across the country. In addition to the masks, there's gloves, gowns, face shields, uh, goggles, and, and face shields, uh, hair coverings, and shoe coverings. Those are the basic PPE items. Direct Relief actually makes its own N95 mask to help during California's wildfire seasons. In addition, the nonprofit buys masks from 3M and other companies. So far, Direct Relief says it's distributed more than 13 million masks since COVID-19 broke out in the United States. So with the shipment that we just received from Direct Relief, it'll give us about two to three weeks, um, depending on the volume of patients that we receive. And that's a huge help in a world where price gouging has made it difficult for clinics and hospitals to buy enough PPE to stay safe. We know the, man, the N95 approved masks that we make, um, they cost under a dollar. So to have someone call and try to sell the same product that they were fortunate enough to snag for $8 was insulting and awful. To combat that price gouging, Direct Relief is providing critical supplies to more than 30 million people. We're really grateful for it because they donate gowns, they donate masks, they donate face shields, which is a huge need right now. And Will Carr joins us now from the Direct Relief Factory filled with PPE. We also know the federal government is stockpiling masks too, but, but there are issues. That's right, Lindsay. The United States government is stockpiling masks, but according to the CDC, some are beyond their shelf life and now have to be studied to see if they can still be used. And even though we have that stockpile, there are some healthcare workers across the country saying, hey, we need these masks right now because we're still in the middle of a crisis. Lindsay. And this group is not just helping people inside the United States, but abroad as well. That's right. They deliver PPE to all 50 states. And you can see all of these flags here at the top of this warehouse. They also have been delivering PPE through this pandemic to 85 other countries everywhere from Mexico all the way to Nepal and so many countries in between. Lindsay. Will Carr, thanks so much for your reporting. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.